everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So I'm recording this episode back to back with the last one and we're going to go straight into the mission now. Command Center, we're going to go right in and do the Noisy Neighbors one, I think. We could do Last Mech Standing, maybe. Um, yeah, this will probably be two Lances, three Skulls. This has got more payout, though. Two and a half. Tundra against Pirates. This is against Oregon Coalition. Um, who am I thinking we're going to get better gear off of? Maybe the Pirates? I think we might better get better gear off the Pirates. So let's go after them. That's in the Tundra. What's this in? Jungle? Um, this is better for cooling. So let's go this way. Even though the jungle is pretty cool. Alright, let's go this way. And then we're going to flush out the main unit here. Alright, let's bring in the second unit. You. Uh, you. Uh, 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 you. You. Scramble. And uh, earthquake and focus. And swifty. And let's do this. Alright, let's see what these guys have got. Looks like it's just us. Shouldn't let any of them get away if we can help it. Well, that's why we're here. You think we'll see bears? Um, let's not hope it's a Care Bear. Uh, what do we want to do here? This looks like a tricky situation, eh? I think we're going to fade. Can we get up this hill? Good question. I want to get up here. If those guys come flying down that hill. Um, how far can you jump here? Firing up the jump jet. Yeah, baby. All right. Uh, Okay, two of us up there. And you can run up there. Consider it done. And you can attempt to run up there. No sweat. Alright, uh, scramble. Let's keep going this way. Of course. I don't see anything. They somehow spot us though or something, I don't know. Position confirmed. Coordinates received. Stay in the trees right if we can. Okay, at least we got a bit of height. Mitigate their terrifying height advantage at the start here. Well that's a lot of rounds. Oh. What do you think? Rack 5s or 2s? Catapult R3? He's taking a little bit of... In How has he gotten internal damage already? Did one of his guys hit him? Maybe? In the back? I don't know. Maybe. Waiting on you, Commander. Maybe. We do not have any range on these guys yet. Um... Let's get across this river. I'm interested to see what this Mortis is going to be able to do in this battle. Yeah, we got to cross the river. Ready for order. Can't stay over here. It's probably going to be point nine, but we'll see what this has got. I think this Minshin has got to be the next mech to go. Right now, it's kind of the weak link. I mean, it's okay. It's it's okay if it's in close, but at range, it's like. Kind of useless. Oh, 10. So it's got to be Rack 2. It's almost a waste to put a pair of Rack 2s on this guy. Oh, is there a second one up there? That looks like a Vulture to me. Damage is light. Um, maybe I'm just hoping. A quick draw. Catapult R3. That's the one we saw before. What's this guy? Kit Fox. Okay. Pirate. It's the pirate fox. 
I wonder if we've only got one uh, lance of guys here. ECM protected. All right, we got some listen kill. Let's see what we're going to go for here. Kit Fox. That's not too bad. Quick draw is pretty good. Let's go after the quick draw. Uh, we're going to gain any heat. Nope. Fire everything then. All right. Yeah, man. Yes, Commander. Better than not doing anything at all. Get over here. Use the Goss. We've got 20 rounds, so... Uh, 30%. We'll just fire. Oh. Had me salivating there when it paused. I was like, yes, 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 no. And a fire starter. Okay. I don't think we picked up any quick draw parts off that other mission that we had. Do your job. Let's get in there. Let's get in there and see these boys. Wow, it's terrible. Let's leave this off till we have a better chance. I've only got six turns of firing with the LRMs. Um, let's just hold off for now. You can probably push that quick draw next turn. Pushing the quick draw. Attempting to push his face in. Let's just get up here. And see what we got on this guy. 12%, huh? Let's just fire one round. We might get lucky. Right, Commander. Nope. Systems recycling for another shot. Yeah, well. You're going to be hella dangerous when you get close. I'm not going to jump. I don't want to risk stability. Yeah. Scramble, I need you to jump because it's going to take too I'm long to go any other way. Too long. Are we down? Actual. We're not even down the hill. Oh, for crap's sake. Are you serious? Oh. It looked like she was jumping to the bottom. Good to go. Show this guy while we're here. Let's show him why they chose us. Okay, with 21% with dead fire. Uh, SRM Artemis is 32. Okay. You know what I... The more I click on these, the more I think. It would be nice if you could click and hold and have a pull down tab and, and it would this would just show with all the rounds that you had. So you could just select which one you wanted right away rather than having to click here and click here and click here. You just click and hold and then it will have LRM, SRM and then all the rounds. And you just go down and you choose the one you want and click on it. That would be kind of nice. But, you know, a lot of programming probably. Okay, a bit of damage. I think that would just make it more efficient, but I don't know coding-wise how difficult that would be, because I am not a coder. Well, not anymore. Not since the early 90s. Not sure if I told you guys I tried writing my own game in the 90s for the Amiga. I'm not sure if you guys know what the Amiga system was, Commodore. Anyway, I had a Commodore, I had an Amiga 2000 at first, and then I got an Amiga 3000. At the time, I had I had 32 megs of RAM. Um, well, I had sorry, I had two chip RAM, which was basically video RAM. Then I had four, um, uh, basically onboard built-in RAM. Uh, yes, it was megabytes, not not. Damage. <laughs> it was megabytes, not gigabytes. And then I had 32 megabytes of uh, of uh, RAM on a. Uh, external board, or not external board, but a, uh, another board that I had, um, like a RAM board basically installed on my computer. 
So yeah, I had like 38 megs of RAM. At the time, it was like unheard of. My friend's like, you got 38 megs of RAM, oh my god. What are you going to use all that for? Um, Alright, this is far off. I want to move in. I think I would rather move than shoot. So let's see how far we can get. We can get down in the water. So let's go do that. We can probably shoot at the same time here. See what our percentage chances was. It was what? Ah, it's still 14's not bad. We'll leave the Apollos off for now. Well, we got lots of rounds. Let's just fire. It'll be over by the time we get there anyway. Oh, we hit with the AC. He hit with the AC. <gasps> yeah. Now, if we're going to jump down, we better make sure we can actually get down. Yeah, there you go. Get over here. Here goes. You are a crazy goddess. All right, we got uh, a fire starter. That guy's got the AMS, so let's just fire over this way. Ah, uh, five points. Five points is five points. Ooh, you're moving into a death zone, buddy. Moving into a death zone. Oh, we still got that catapult back there. We gotta con be concerned about. Yeah. One thing I will give focus. He's he's always good with initiative here. Busting ah. All right, let's see what chances are. Oh God, look at the chance to hit with the SRMs. Um, LRM dead fire is a lot lower, so we're going back to SRM. Let's put the barrage on him. Now we got mostly the uh, hit on the other side with this guy. Not a lot of armor left in the legs. I wonder if we should just shoot for the leg. Well, let's just hit him. See what we get out of it. Okay, we penned. Most likely the arm. You got that right. Um, we missed with the barrage, but it's in a good spot, so I'm okay with that. It's in a good spot. Yeah, this Men Shen is kind of in its its perfect weight class right now. These guys were a lot heavier, it would be a different story, but I think he's in his kind of perfect zone right now. And at least these, the, our enemy has come down off of the hill to fight. So it's going to help us out here. We're going to go with this shot because I know it's going to be the best one. Right? Yeah. Let's just hit this guy. Yeah. Nice. Still not sure about those ER lasers as a synergy for that Goss rifle. Let him. You're still gonna kill him. And he knows it. He knows he's dead. Waiting on you, Commander. He's not hitting I mean, even though we get okay chances to hit with those ERs, he's not hitting very well with them, so. Um two or one. Let's just go one to, to save the recoil. Okay, MRMs are doing well. Another hit like that, and you're toast. No, he's not. You gotta hit him with the AC for that. Yeah, so I'm thinking the Mortis has got to get the 320 core. As much as I want to drop it in the Black Knight, I think the Mortis is really suffering without it. I mean, look at this. Like, <laughs> so bad. We're gonna have to drop it in here for sure. All right, uh, I don't think the SRM is any better. LRM, uh, okay, here we go. And firing. Here we go. Oh yeah. Leg destroyed. That Have a seat, buddy. Now I'm pretty sure we still got some fire starter parts kicking around. Hopefully we can get some of these catapult parts. I think that's the 55 ton catapult though, so I'm not sure. Right, the R3 is 55 tons, isn't it? Yeah, it's a medium mech. Small improved heavy lasers, heavy rotary AC2s, 
risk with caseless ammo, bolt-on rocket incendiary 20, or improved rocket 20, shaft countermeasures, laser AMS, okay. Alright, that's alright. Position confirmed. We'll get our stability back here, we'll hammer this guy again. Um, 70% this time. Ah, uh, we want to just shred him. Because I think I want that, I want the parts from the, um, catapult. Let's just shred this guy. Inflicted some heavy damage. Pilot injured. Your bolt on rockets is gone. That's it, buddy. That's it. Good to go. Okay, Quakey, the Kid Fox is all yours. He can't stop, uh, he can't stop lasers and, uh, Gauss rifle with that, uh, AMS. Oh my god. Yeah, because he took the AC-20 shot in the center. Alright, well, here it comes. Oh, 20% damage reduction ain't gonna help you. Critical hit, Commander. Ain't gonna help you. Let's get get a little closer here with Eric extra dry. And I think we're gonna go and wow, go after this guy. See if we can get rid of him. Nope. Got the torso though. Got the torso. He's pretty much out of the battle. So is this guy. Yeah, use your LRM-10. That's really going to help. Alright, Scramble. How close are you to this guy? Getting pretty darn close. Oh, because I'm clicking on the barrage. That's why. Alright, let's see if we can knock over the, uh, not you. Or we could just finish this guy off. We're not gonna, that's gonna get shredded by the AMS. We could attempt to knock this guy over. Oh, he doesn't have much left, though. No, let's go after the, uh, yeah, let's go after this guy and finish him up. See ya. Oh, he's already gotten it. He's already gotten it. Well, it just means they gotta move through heat to get to us. Oh, he's backing up a little bit. Okay, that's his rockets gone. Wonder if his racks are jammed or something. On my way. Okay, let's get up into here. Target this guy, and we're going to go ahead and do an offensive push on him. We are going to go after this leg. We could kill him by accident, but I'm going to try not to. Uh, let's go this route. Did he go down? Oh, he's still standing. Ooh, a lot of damage to that leg, though. A lot of damage to that leg. Commander. Oh, do I want to kill this guy with a... He's got good parts, but it was so rare that we get a chance to melee. It's so rare. Sorry, buddy. Ooh, couldn't have been a better hit. Took the leg. Sweep the leg, baby. Sweep the leg. All right, she finally got into battle. All right, now you're on. Uh, you got the Ultra 10. Let's move it a little closer. Out. Just gonna walk, save us a bit of better chance to hit. We're gonna go after this guy and we are gonna fire the Apollos. I'm gonna double this up. Let's go Ultra on him. No AMS going off, eh? Orders. We could try for the other leg.
that a front shot? That's a front shot too. It's only marginally better on that guy, but we can definitely take the leg off the Orion. Or the quick draw, sorry. So we'll go this route. We're gonna turn off this. Just go after this leg. Hopefully we get one hit. There we go. I thought we hit torso with two, but it's only one. There's enough for a knockdown. Two. Okay, he's got two pilot health left. I wonder if we can get a kick in on him and knock him over again. We got two mechs close by. This guy's not going very far, so I'm not worried about him. Yep, thanks for showing up. Okay, now. Waiting on you, Commander. I think we're gonna take the. T oh, we gotta hit him from this side, though. We, that's gonna give them a back shot. Because if we hit him from the front, we could CT him. And I don't want to do that. It's less of a chance to do it from this side. Let's go this way. Let's see if we can get a knockdown on him. Okay, that looked like an arm hit. Oh. You punched him in the head. Dude. All right, now we just got to knock him down. Uh, you don't have the ability to melee? Oh yeah, we do. Eighty-seven. All we gotta do is knock him over. Come on. There's the hit. Is that enough? No, it's not enough. Damn it. Just got a blow on him now. Yeah. We got lots of back armor, so the rack twos aren't that scary. That hit hard. Ready for orders. And do this, and then we're gonna do this, and this, and this, and hope we get a leg hit. Come on. Where was that? Oh yes, beautiful. All we gotta do is blow on this guy. Just blow on him. Don't blow him. Blow on him. All right, take this off. How much inst... Oh, God. All we got is LKS. Really? If I swarm him, it's going to be bad. Well, let's just keep our fingers crossed. Okay, well, almost as good as a knockdown. Yeah, that guy's pretty accurate. You can see daylight through my armor, Commander. Let's invite this guy to the party. See you at the party, Richter. Here it comes. I wonder why his AMS isn't working. Alright, let's hammer him. Commander. Going full throttle. Let's see if we can target that leg. Yeah, I mean not bad. Uh, we don't quite have enough sprint move. See if we can get some instability on him, though. 
Gonna switch to SRMs. Get some listen kill going on them. Uh, yeah, let's throw this on too. Can't hurt. Got lots of armor. Plus he's bulwark, so. He's taking a lot of stability damage. Well, he's got two boxes. Two boxes is two boxes. Mostly. Missing. Mostly. Okay, what are we looking at here? Well, we got some chances to leg him. Commander? Don't care that there's flames on the way. How much resolve have we got? We got a sh crap ton of resolve. Going after the legs. Yeah, AC's damn it, jammed. Even with all that recoil reduction, we still yeah. get jams. What can I do you, for? you know what you can do me for. I don't think you got the money, though. Same thing, going after the leg. Oh, it looked like we penned somewhere. Hopefully it's the leg. It is. Okay. What's up, boss? Get a bit of height. Go after that leg. I think way. the cost is a little close, though. Well, no, no, it's not really. Going after the leg. Uh, it looked like a torso hit. I think it was. Yeah. Torso. Right here. Mm -hmm. See what we can do. Yep. Come on, leg him. Nope. Arm. Torso. Never mind. I'm getting you didn't like that, did ya? Right here. Let's hope we get it. Fire. We don't have the right weapons that for this. Don't have the pinpoints. Still jammed. 23 left there. Should be able to take it. Did we get it? No. Knocked down, so he's 2 of 4. Should be 1 of 4 now. Yeah, one of four. Commander. Please don't move. And go after his head, please. Which has he got here? He's got tons in the CT. Almost nothing there, though. Let's go for a headshot. We're going to use everything, because we got to take that head. What say we take it to him? <sighs> yeah. Come on. Lock in target. Damn it. <sighs> Just gotta knock him back over again. We can't do that though. He doesn't have enough hip like he doesn't have enough armor left. Wait, does he have Oh, he's still got his leg here. Okay, so... Yes, Commander. If we can get to the side... Speed there in the chip. And use one... Doesn't matter which one. It's got ten points. We need two hits. Right leg. Uh, engine destroyed. Damn it. Well, we tried. Mission successful. Yeah, we attempted that. I don't know. Not much we could have done about that. Centurion did take a CT hit in the back. Yeah, blew through the one side. It's prob uh, it's pretty accurate, too. Pretty accurate. Don't We didn't lose any components, so that's okay. So now we got lots of parts here. I mean, Kit Fox parts. Bolt on AMS. Integrated laser AMS. Uh, 
Um, gonna toss it in there for now. I don't know if we're gonna keep it, but I'll throw it in there. Rotary Auto Cannon twos. The damage just isn't there for what we need. If we had a, if our lance was like mediums and lights, it would be definitely useful. XL would be good for C bills. Gyro Dreadnought. XL Gyro. We've been looking for those. We'll need this for the um, for the Victor. And this, I don't think we have any place to put this. We've got one already integrated into the Black Knight, and I don't think we need it on the uh, Mortis right now. Um, heavy jump jets, no. Light Pharaoh, no. Night Vision. Enables daytime visual detection range during night and dark conditions. Okay. Radical compact heat, heat. Okay, this is for compact heat sinks. Activates when above 90% heat. Deactivates below 50. Minus 20 heat per turn when active. 5% chain failure on activation. Deals critical hit on itself on failure. I really hate things like that. Because then all it takes is someone to like come in with flamethrowers and keep you heated and you're done. Um, let's take the tracker sensors. Now they're not as good as the uh, last version of Rogue Tech. Last version of Rogue Tech gave you plus four extreme, plus three at long range. I think it was plus two or plus one at medium, minus one at short, something like that. So this is a little bit less, but still they're really great because we've been engaging at relatively long range. So we'll go that red, I think. Because I don't think mech-wise, there's like, we, I don't know, there's nothing we can really finish up here. And whatever mech parts we get, we get. Alright, two catapult parts, a quick draw part, and a quick uh, kit fox part, bolt on AMS. So that's not bad, we can apply that to somebody. Rocket pack 5, that can go, because we, we've got rocket packs, we don't need the 5. Small cockpit, we don't need. XL, beautiful, that's good for, for sea bills, we don't need that. I'll uh, hold on to the Light Pharaoh. I don't know if we'll use it, but and we'll hold on to the Rack 2 ammo. I mean, I don't know if we'll use it. But I'm I'm assuming Rack ammo is going to be really hard to find. So if we hang on to it and we do get a chance to use a Rack 2, we'll have it. So let's just continue. All right, 31,000. A little bit more than we had yesterday, but, you know, we had a lot of allies with us yesterday in the Defend Base mission. Okay, so let's have a quick look in the mech bay. I don't think we can assemble any more mechs. Let's go to storage. So I'm just kind of rolling around with ideas in the back of my head right now. Yeah, we've got to, we, we know we're, we're already going to assemble a bushwhacker, but we're not going to do that right now. Um, yeah, we don't really have enough to assemble anything else. So that's fine. Um, so an idea rolling around the back of my head was for the mortise. Um, because if we're going to put the 320 core in here, I think it's got a 270 right now or 285 or something like that. Put the 320 and it'll give it marginally better speed. But we're going to have to take some stuff out. So I'm wondering, since we've got three ATM 9s, I wonder if we take all three of those out and put the MRM 30 in here. And use that as the primary weapon. Now we do have one laser, the ER medium. Uh, but we've only got one laser hardpoint, unfortunately, on this. We've got ballistic and missile hardpoints, but I mean, we could go with the MRM-30 in here. It's a possibility rather than the ATMs. I like the ATMs because we do have the um, option to shoot indirect, which we did do this mission. Uh, but it would mean we'd have to pull one of them out most likely in order to be able to fit in that uh, bigger core. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I mean, we do have to upgrade the core on this mech. There is no doubt about that. So, um, yeah, let me let me know what you think in the, in the comments down below. All right, so I am going to end this episode here. Uh, we've got a Victor to work on. We've got to update the Black Knight, maybe, um, and the, um, the Mortis for sure with the bigger core um, between episodes. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. We'll get that done in the next few episodes, all right? Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.